Hey everyone, it's Navin SF. I want to talk about just how are we going to overcome the rising prices of gas and food. I know we're all feeling the pinch. It's just crazy to see. And then also when you go grocery shopping, you're definitely seeing an increase in prices on products. So in this video, I want to talk about seven tips I am going to follow as much as possible just until things level off or we just feel more comfortable with the prices or maybe we all get a pay increase. Who knows? Anyways, hopefully these tips will help you out in the next upcoming months to make sure that you feel comfortable financially and can weather through the storm. Tip number one is to cut back on eating out. I know it's very convenient to grab things to go, but learn how to cook at home. I love to grocery shop and then challenge myself to use up all the fresh ingredients before I even go shop again. So that means eating up all the fruits and vegetables before they go bad. A lot of the items that you buy, like fruits you could freeze, like blueberries, strawberries, just cut them up, wash them, put them in a freezer safe container and put them in the freezer and then you could use them at a future date. Same with vegetables, there are a lot of things you can freeze, like I do freeze spinach before they wilt away and go bad. I saw on YouTube that you can keep some of the vegetable scraps and some of the bones from like a, a roast chicken and you could create a stock in the instant pot. So I'll be trying that out in the near future. But again, just cut back on the eating and when you finish or are about to finish all your fresh ingredients, then I would start planning on going to the grocery store, take a look at the sales that are happening and and try to create some recipes that around the sales that are happening. And before you even do that, I do like a cupboard challenge and that's literally opening up your cupboards, going through your drawers and seeing what you need to use up. There's probably some pasta that you could use up. I love making a pasta canned tuna dish. Um, it does require fresh lemons, but if you squeeze lemon, tuna, onions, capers, it's actually a really great pasta dish. I've tried it at home. Well, since gas is really expensive right now, I would challenge you to walk everywhere as much as possible before you get in your car think can i walk there the grocery store is about 10 to 15 minutes away from me walgreens to pick up my prescription medicine is actually even further i just use that as an opportunity to count that as my exercise for the day i love carrying a backpack with me because you could carry some of the heavier items and they also bring two reusable bags that i could carry with me a tip for you is to have one that you could sling over your shoulder it just it's a lot more comfortable than carrying it i would challenge yourself and try to walk everywhere if it's not possible sometimes even cutting back a day of driving and taking public transportation can be really helpful with your finances and if you absolutely do need to drive try to you know plan that you are in one location and just finish all your errands as much as possible within that if you are commuting to work can you carpool with someone i did that for a while and it was kind of nice to take a break from driving even just one day of the week and that other person drove that really helps extend the time for you to go to the gas pumps the next tip i would recommend is to drink a lot more water so that means cutting back on the soda i do like a diet soda every now and then but i actually am going to challenge myself for maybe the next 30 days whatever challenge you want to do is to cut back on drinking juices and soda it's extra cost so maybe just getting some ice water with a splash of lemon is really great if you absolutely love more like a juice flavor have you ever tried like a splash of cranberry a splash of juice so i like that too it just adds a different flavor to it so give that a try and try to challenge yourself to have a all drinking water kind of month. If you are going to be strapped for cash, now is the time to do a no spend challenge. I think it's going to be a really great opportunity for the next two weeks or the next 30 days to say I'm not going to spend anything unless it's essential. So your food, your rent, your mortgage, that's essential, your electricity, and maybe you don't need to go out for that time and maybe you can do something at home with friends or do something around the city that you live in and I would just challenge yourself to try not to pull out that credit card, pull out cash, just for one month and see how much you could save in that one month. Another thing you could do is just go through all your subscriptions and just cancel all of them, one of them, just something, take action. I went through mine today just because I was getting annoyed by the notification and I did cancel Paramount not too long ago. I had wanted to watch a specific show just for the season and I did cancel it just to get it off the payment cycle. If you are sharing a subscription with friends, that is another great idea. There's four of us that share an iTunes plan. It's actually an Apple plan, I believe, and it includes iTunes and Apple Workout and Apple TV. So I think that is actually a great deal because it would it would cost more for me to pay on my own. And I do love listening to music, so to me it's well worth it. But try to find a group of family and friends that will be down to share. And we all pay one individual once a quarter, and it's like $15 each. 
totally worth it. Now, if you're like me and you do have a gym membership because you do value the gym, I would take advantage and use the gym, but also use the showers. There's soap, lotions, Q-tips at my gym, and it helps prevent me from using my own items. So anything I could do at the gym, hot water, you know, uh, they also offer coffee. So that's really nice. I could have my coffee in the morning there if I use the gym in the morning. But again, just taking advantage of the amenities and shower, shave, shaving cream, it's all all going to add up eventually deodorant I can keep going tissue you get my point like lotion shaving cream aftershave all of that will add up so take advantage of the gym if you're already paying for it now some of us have made travel plans I get that and we weren't expecting the world to kind of evolve as it did and if you are committed to a trip maybe there's an opportunity to switch it from a hotel into an Airbnb I just got back from New Orleans actually I was debating about wearing these beads video but maybe I'll just put on the gold one because it represents I think it represents royalty and wealth or something you know we stayed in an Airbnb it was a little further away from where we all wanted to be as far as the destinations we did take quite a few uber rides it was split amongst all of us there were surges because it was Mardi Gras season and that was adding up so my tip to you is if you do stay in an Airbnb what's really great is you can go to the grocery store there was one nearby we bought all our waters we bought the aqua hall for the house so that we didn't have to spend a lot of money at the bars. We also cooked breakfast at home and decided to, to spend on dinners or lunches. I would just recommend being close to your site location so that you don't have to spend a lot of money on Uber rides. Hopefully that will help out with your planned vacations and saving some money there. Oh yes, and don't forget to bring like a hydro flask or water bottle that you could fill at the airport. Do not buy the airport food, it's very expensive. And my last tip for you today is make your coffee at home even if you just buy the cold brew bottles like at Safeway that are like five dollars that's a lot cheaper you'll probably be able to make three iced coffees out of that depending on how tall your glasses are and I just see all these like videos on social media stories about like buying a six dollar latte that is crazy so if you buy that five days a week that's thirty dollars just make your coffee at home if you can Okay, I added the extra beads. Anyways, thank you for dropping by. If you have any tips for the community, please leave them in the comments. I would appreciate you giving this a thumbs up and I appreciate you subscribing if you enjoy the content. And until next time, stay well, save up, be prepared, and we'll talk soon. Take care, bye.